so interesting. I mean, I, I grew up in such a completely different, first of all, it was an incredibly different time. And my father was a Navy officer, so it was just, I mean, in a way, I kind of loved the fact that my life was such a clean break from my parents, and there was absolutely no crossover. I just don't buy into that, you know, if someone's being creative, that that's a path for, like, desperation. When I was growing up, my father always, like, I would draw fashion models, and he'd be like, draw cowboys, draw cowboys. Like, he couldn't stand the fact that I was, it was just so gay. I <laughs> made him so uncomfortable. And I look back on that, and then he would, like, try and draw a cowboy, and be like, I don't want to draw a cowboy. Like, you know, I want to draw this, I want to draw a Twiggy. I mean, we're really different and we're, we're also really similar. I guess, like, most parents and kids. I've been here, I guess, 45 years. And every decade becomes a really different life and, and, and different challenges, but also amazing opportunities. And I don't know any place that would let someone my age have those opportunities. Like I started illustrating 10 years ago in my mid to late 50s. I don't know, I don't know where else that would have happened. And I still, as corny as it sounds, I still get off the train and I just find something about the vitality and the, the mix of people here so, incredibly beautiful and so exciting that I can't imagine not having it be in my life. I will always love New York. I mean, it's, it's really, as much as I love being in other places, it's really my home. 